Revenue Canada uh, stepped into this whole situation and uh, really silenced the voice of the animals so much by threatening to take away the charitable status of the five groups who were working on the anti-trapping issue or the anti-fur issue. They warned us all, all of the groups, that if we, cons if we consistently uh, at attack the fur industry, which was a legitimate industry in Canada, we would risk losing our charitable status. And the other groups quickly stopped then their anti-fur or anti-trapping campaigns. We carried on because we thought that we, were, we had a right to be able to uh, keep focusing on the anti-cruelty. We and that was the focus. Rather than being anti-fur, we were saying this is cruel and it should be stopped. Well, it went on for two or three years and finally Revenue Canada came down and, and issued an, an ultimatum that we would have 30 days to defend our position or we would lose our charitable status. So we were one of the first groups in all of Canada then that lost our charitable status because we continued speaking out against the, against the, um, the, the fur industry. What we said um, and, and what Revenue Canada said that whenever you talk about cruel trapping methods, you're, and I, this is a quote if I, if I can recall, you're creating an anti-fur image in the eyes of the public whenever you talk about cruel traps. And I remember answering, yes, I know we're doing that. How else, how else can we focus on this cruelty that's going on with, with all of our trapped animals everywhere in Canada? We must continue speaking out. So we, we did lose our charitable status and it has hurt us deeply financially because we cannot give tax deductible receipts and particularly to the foundations who wanted to help who by law cannot give any money to a non-profit group it must go to a charitable group so it hit us and has hurt us uh, seriously but more than that it has silenced the voice of fur-bearing animals everywhere in Canada because all of the major groups now are afraid to speak out on this issue of cruel, cruel trapping or the use of furs. And I'm sorry that the federal government you know, has the right to be able to silence the voice of the animals that, in that way.